Hey everyone. If you're interested in making designs like this one for your apparel or stickers, then stick around because I'm going to show you how to make them using Flexi Designer Versa Studio Edition for your Roland BN220A and BN220. Welcome everyone. My name is Jay Rabbit. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is type out the word that we want to use in our design. So grab your text tool and type it out. When you're done typing, grab your selection tool and click on your word and go to your design central window, click on the A and then click on the drop down text menu. Now the best style of fonts to use for designs like this are black, bold, or condensed fonts. The reason being is because those fonts are blocky and bold and they'll show more of your artwork when you're done. For this example, I'm going to use a font that's already in Flexi Designer. It's called Gil Sans Ultra Bold. So as you can see, these letters are, are thick and there's not big gaps in between the letters. So once I put it over my artwork, it's going to show a lot more of it. Now, if you want to get these letters closer, then you have this little slider down here called the tracking. And if you can just hold down your left button on your mouse and drag it over where you want it and then just let go. If you ever want to, if you ever want to go back to it, all you have to do is click on the word four times fast and it'll, it'll bring up the slider again. If you have a font to where the letters overlap, like this one here, left click on the word and click on weld. And it'll just weld all the, those letters together. All right, so once you have that ready, it's time to bring in our artwork. You want to make sure that your artwork is in the back or behind your text. And the easiest thing to do is to drag your text onto the artwork because it's going to give you these outlines that will help you line up your word where you want it and you want the artwork. You want these words to land uh, nicely on your artwork so that way um, it'll look good. So once you have it in position, select the text and the, the artwork. I'm just going to draw a box around them. And then right click and go all the way down to mask and click on that. Okay, so there you have the artwork inside of your text. The next thing we're going to do is put an outline on this. So go up to effects and click on outline. Before I do that, I'm going to make this to scale. That way our outline doesn't look out of whack. So right here, I'm just going to make it 10 inches. All right. So now I'm going to go up to effects and put the outline on it. One thing to remember when you're, when you're doing an outline is to make it 
a little bit thicker than how you want it at the end because once we do the the contour cut we're going to leave a bleed on it and so it's going to take away some of the outline so just make it a little bit thicker than what you actually want it in the end if you have a if you have a font to when where you if you throw the outline on it and you get these beveled edges when you have sharp corners chosen then just come here to this little window and increase this amount until your corners pop out see the corners popped out here but we still have this beveled corner right there and then over here on the e so just keep going up until those corners pop out and then that'll be ready you can choose your color of your outline here in this little drop down window once you've chosen your color just hit the check mark and you have your outline thrown on there so now we're going to apply our contour cut so select your artwork go up to effects and to contour cut and then we're gonna put a bleed on it We'll zoom in just so you can see that the it is inside the artwork, so it's gonna have a bleed. Just make sure you got your contour cut color chosen right here, and then just click the check mark, and your artwork is ready to send to VersaWorks. Another thing uh, or another trick that you can apply to this also is if you have if you have letters like a and r that have you have letters like A and R that have the holes in here I'm going to change this over to the same font that we were using okay so if you have if you want to get rid of those holes inside of of the letters click on the word and then go up to arrange and go to convert to outlines. Another note here, once you convert to outlines, this is no longer text. Go up to your selection tool and hold down the left click button for this little menu to pop up and you wanna choose the white arrow. If you go in here to the A, to the inside part, click on it, once it's selected, then hit your backspace to delete it. Same thing with the R. And so now you have your, those holes are gone. And that works, that helps out if, if for some reason your artwork or like a photograph, if you're putting a photograph in here, if someone's face lands inside those gaps, you know, you don't have to go searching for another font different font to use you can just take those out and it's perfectly readable everyone knows it can see that that's car so that's another tip for you if you're looking for fonts to use for this type of artwork if you go to to the font and you want to look for them here the best types on this website are under techno square or basic sans serif. If I scroll through here, this is under Techno Square. If I scroll through here, you can see that some of these fonts are, are nice and blocky. 
They don't have a bunch of gaps in the middle. So you can find good fonts under there. Um, and different uh, font websites, um, you can also look for display fonts. You can usually find pretty good bold fonts to use. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.